Okay, so today we are going to look at this. This is the Tone Slab pick. This is the tweener. Uh, this is a relatively new pick that is making some waves on the market. And uh, it's getting a lot of hype. And it's also very expensive. That's a $45 pick. Now, I think the question is, is it's not that is the pick worth $50. It's is it worth $10 or $15 more than the blue chip? Everybody knows about the blue chip. It's the standard. Most everybody says this is the pick for the professional. Why is this pick better or is it not? So that's what we're going to find out. Um, I've seen a few videos on this and I, I actually have some different opinions than some of the other stuff that I've seen. Um, some folks have said that they think it's brighter. Uh, I actually think it's darker. And I wanted to show what I meant. So we're going to start by saying this is the TP48. This is the pick I've been using for the last about two months. And uh, it's a 1.22 millimeter. It's thinner than most picks I've used in the past. Honestly, I got it because I was trying to get into flat picking. And um, Brian Sutton uses this pick and Billy Strings uses this, use this pick. And I respect both of those players very much. And I was watching... Um, a video on the acoustic shop on YouTube and they talked about this chip not chip this pick and they said that they would choose this tone slab over the blue chip and then I was watching lessons with Marcel and he said the same thing now they do say that this pick requires um, some buffering requires some maintenance you have to kind of make sure that the edges stay smooth um, I probably played with this pick a total of 10 hours um, mostly because I saw on the reviews people said it's a easy pick to scratch and but then scratch up so I said to myself well, I'll play with my blue chip more uh, because these are pretty much good for life as long as you don't lose this blue chip it's good for life <clears throat> so again why should this pick which isn't gonna last you a lifetime why is it worth the extra 15 bucks? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple songs that I think show the pick off well. And you can be the judge yourself. My opinion is I think that the blue chip is brighter. It projects extremely well with great definition. Um, that's what I think makes the blue chip such a good pick. Um, I think that the grip could go either way. I think if your hands get sweaty, it, this may sound silly, but I think it depends on what kind of sweaty your hands get. If uh, Sometimes they get slippery and then no pick is easy to hold. But uh, if your fingers get just a little damp, uh, they hold on to this pick rather well. Uh, I got to say, I think this one actually has a slightly better grip, uh, the Tone Slab. Um, I think the Tone Slab does all the same things that the Blue Chip does, but I think it's darker. It has more of a woodish thud sound to it, which almost like you're just showing the sound of the string being articulated rather than a pick sound. Uh, the Blue Chip is by no means bad. Um, but again, we're saying not is this pick worth $50. We're saying is it worth the extra 15 for the blue chip? Because if not, well, you can just get another one of these blue chips and put it in your special pick bag because we all know that we keep $35 picks in a special bag so we don't lose them, right? And, uh, you know, for the price of three of these, you can pretty much get, I'm sorry, for the price of, yeah, three of these, you can pretty much get a whole nother blue chip. So I am going to play a few things here and we'll see what you think. Um, I'm trying to choose things that show the pick off well. Um, and that's, that's my plan here. So this is item number one, blue chip. <laughs> Same thing, tone slab. Okay. Now we're gonna play day and age.
Now let's play it with the tone slap. Then we're going to play an open E chord progression. This is the blue chip. Play the same progression on the tone slide. Don't slap. This one will be Black Mountain Rag, Tone Slime. I'm sorry, Blue Chip. Slab. Blue chip.
Okay, so you should see a difference between those two picks. Uh, they're both great. I really am taken by the Tone Slab's warmness of the note and just the lack of a ping on the attack. I mean, this is just, you can't ask for a much warmer sound than that. I mean, the, I think the blue chip has slightly better projection. If you were playing in a group, maybe um, a jam with a lot of people and you needed to make sure you were cutting through, I think the blue chip is the obvious way to go. But I think if you're going to record something and you want the, your guitar to sound as good as it can possibly sound, I don't see how you wouldn't choose the tone slab over the blue chip. It's just, it's ridiculously nice. I'm really impressed with this pick. I hope you were too. So with that, hope you enjoyed this time together. See you on the next one.